So we're going to begin making a distinction between independent group designs and within group designs. The experiments that we've talked about so far have all been independent group designs, um, where we have different participants at each level of the independent variable. So there are two different versions of this that we're going to talk about, post-test only and pre-test, post-test designs. So with independent uh, design groups, um, we have, uh, you know, and we might talk about them as between subject designs or between group designs, both baby persistence and note taking, and actually the, the COVID experiment um, by Zimmer were all independent group designs. We'll talk about within groups, uh, within group designs uh, in the next video. But what you should know is that with independent group designs, we have different participants in each condition. So if we have 20 participants in the first condition, we have 20 participants in the second and need 40 total. That's an important point for us to be thinking about. So with post-test only, we randomly assign people to groups. Um, we give the, um, you know, those groups might be the pen and the laptop, and then we measure on our outcome variable. So for example, um, you know, here you see that we have different comprehension scores based on what kind of, um, or comprehension amounts based on what kind of questions or, or how they're taking notes. So, So in this particular study, here are two independent variables, and here's our dependent variable. They get assigned to different groups, they're randomly assigned, and there is, everybody gets the same outcome measure. So in this case, a comprehension test. With a pretest post-test design, we get a measure um, and then we have our intervention. So they're randomly assigned to either mindfulness or nutrition, nutrition class. And then we have our outcome. Again, this is a post-test, so it's the same as a pretest, or at least equivalent to the, to the pretest. And in this research by Mrazek et al., um, you see that at the pretest, the two groups are, are a fairly equivalent. But at post test, the nutrition group is significant or is scoring significantly more poorly, this gray bar, than the mindfulness uh, group at post-test. So which group is better? You know, we need to be thinking up about what the research question is, what the research situation is. And sometimes it makes sense to use a pretest post design. Sometimes, um, Sometimes it doesn't. And so we, we just want to be, be clear as to when. Often though, post-test only designs can be very powerful. You know, as we said, the Mueller and Oppenheimer laptop pen research was post-test only. Leonard et al. persistence among babies 
post-test only. I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna move on to within groups. Take care.